tough life on the farm. Are those all your kitty friends? Say hello to the kitties. Yeah, that's Sean. Kitty, Sean, Allie, Timber. Oh, so excited, so excited. I need my chicken shepherd to help with this. Nice rock you found there. Is that a good one? Is that a keeper add to the collection? <laughs> yeah, you're hilarious. Come on, pig, sit. Very good. You're a good pig. New segment here. It's called Farm Fashion. Today, I'm wearing my nice Quinnipiac Scholar Athlete sweatshirt. That shirt was earned, not bought. And I also have my Kirkland brand blue jeans and my Blundstones. Together that completes my outfit. It's no rubber boots and shorts, but soon, once it rains and it's warm, rubber boots and shorts will be a thing. And that is true farm fashion right there. Adding to our segment of farm fashion, we have Audie with his Carhartt toque. Yeah, you got your red sweatshirt, your blue jeans, and you're kicking it in your sweet vans. Nice outfit. And he's out. Uh. Yeah, where are we run into? Hello. Yes, we're going that way. Or you want to go that way? Okay, bye. We left the door open, Audie, and we have a cat in the house. Yeah, you got a little house time. Be free. Audie and I are checking out fields to see which perspective one we can go to next. I'm letting him put the hands on the wheel. Here, you drive us. I have my chauffeur here taking us. Audi, take the wheel. Driving. Are you driving? Drive for dad. Drive, drive. Oh, yeah, still water. Yep, I don't think so. We have a water spot right there. Gotta wait a little bit longer for this piece. Mr. Fixer. Yep, you inspect all the scrapers. What about this one? Good. They passed inspection. Hey, would you keep it down? We're trying to work here. After a day in the field, we did our pre-day maintenance and we looked over the drill and we actually found a problem. This seed and fertilizer is supposed to be in the ground, not on here. And one of those hoses, the big hose, I don't know if you can see it, there is a hole. So we'll have to change that whole hose before we start again. That was a good catch by Riley. Riley spotted that one. And now we'll change that and get that ready to go so that we are good to go back in the field. That's a big coiler. Someone left a big coiler on the ground there. Yeah, 
Good? Yep. Oh, not very straight. We gotta get this from here to here. Will you accept you in union this matrimony? Good stuff. Now we'll finish our walk around the drill and the air cart, see if we see any other deficiencies. Somebody has seen a few power tools already. Hi, We've got a couple beggars here. Hey, you. Hello. Yeah, that's Junior. Do 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 do. Somebody decided to make themselves at home. We're having our morning safety meeting. So then the tank is actually behind. So it's yeah. like the tank, the wheels are in the center of the tank. Basically. Raleigh puts windshield washer fluid in my truck for me. But then this falls off. What kind of service is that? Since we're not in the field this afternoon, not seating, we're gonna do some oil changes. We have a couple trucks that we gotta do the oil change on and we have our row gator 864 that needs to get its oil changed before we use it. We're going to spray some of the pre-burn before we go in with the seeder. Um, only doing a couple fields. Won't get much use this spring, but come June time, that's our main piece of equipment that we use. <laughs> Using my extra hand to help. Here. Have to do what I do best, check tires. Pass. We've been monitoring our hydraulic oil lately and it becomes a little cloudy and usually when you get cloudiness in your oil it's because of water so we're going to take a little sample to see if the water settles out of the hydraulic oil to see if it's just the air agitating it enough in the system or if in fact we do have water in there our filters have been changed within a couple hundred hours so these ones down here as well, these are the high pressure filters and this is the return filter. Those should be good, only, I don't know, 250 hours, I think it says 2018. The previous owner changed those before we bought this. Cat power, baby. Good old cat diesel in there.
used a syringe and a little hose to suck it out of the reservoir. This is our sample. It's not looking promising. That could be some bad, bad news. Hopefully it's not, but that is cause for concern. Is it time for your oil change? Everybody else has been getting one. I think you're due too. Unlatch these. Proper position. Engage. My number one rule before changing oil, always check that we got an extra filter. Okay, let's check the number. I think that one says 1971. Let's see what the back one is too. Time to check you out too. Show me what you got, girl. Let me in your bonnet. Get me in here. Here we go, searching for some oil filters. They're under lock and key. What do we have here? Nope, wrong number. Not big enough. Nothing there. Search to make sure that we have the right filter here. The old cross reference trick. Riley's trusty little solution. Maybe patent pending. The old drip tray. Thank you very much. It's not only a screwdriver, it is a little spout. She blows! Dinton, dinton, dinton. Done its job. Caught the dirt. Got a few goodies down here. Cameraman only has one hand. Two hands are full. One camera in one hand, your hand passing things. I think we might need some new windshield wipers. I don't think that's a color. My arch nemesis. The grease gun. We have to grease you. We have to grease you. Luckily, Riley already greased you, you, and you. Thank you very much. We have a sunbather. <laughs> yes, stick. Stick. <laughs> Don't tell me. Yeah. Hi, You're okay. Thanks for stopping by today. 
We uh, a little bit slower pace day today, but tomorrow we are excited to get back into the field. And thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.